Hello and happy Monday. Well, we start the week off with the high pressure close by. It's kind of ridging up and across us, but you can see either side of New Zealand, we have two features. Now, most of that activity will stay offshore for that one up to the north. But this one moving up from the south will be bringing some wetter weather in towards Fjordland by the end of the day. But more especially as we head in towards Tuesday. You can see for the rest of the day, the high pressure sits over us. As we head in towards tomorrow, that front moves up from the south brings rainfall back in towards Fjordland and some showers on towards that western coast. By the end of the day, we'll find as this front crosses that far southern corner, some patchy rain making its way in towards Southland and Otago. Not much makes its way much further north. So for places like Canterbury and Marlborough, it stays dry. And a similar story for the North Island, with a lot of the activity staying down towards the south, most of the North Island stays dry. There will be perhaps an odd shower that springs up across parts of uh, inland Taranaki across towards Wanganui, but most of the time it's a pretty dry story. Wednesday, that front weakens, moves up towards the north side, still very much a northwesterly, so I think we'll push that rain, or showers more, on towards the western coast of the north side. You can see we start to find some drier weather down south, but we're back into a southwesterly feed of air. So the high pressure out towards Tasmania, the low pressure down towards the southeast gives us this feed of air coming up from the southwest. Now, in those situations, New Zealand acts a bit like a boat in a stream. And the showers run in towards those areas exposed towards the south and towards the west. So something to watch out for through there. We might find as we head in towards Thursday, a bit more in the way of a, a feature, just skirting up with this area of lower pressure up the eastern coast. And that's our best chance of seeing some showers around that eastern side of the country, particularly in towards parts of the north side. But it has to be said, it's still a fairly small chance. I think most of the activity will be suppressed as that next area of high pressure builds back towards us. So in terms of uh, uh, rainfall, not an awful lot on that eastern side. And as the high pressure builds over through Friday and in towards the weekend and next week, things generally are looking relatively settled. You can really see that on our rainfall accumulation charts. Now remember, these are the charts that show where that rain falls between now and Thursday night time. So with a lot of the activity being those fronts that come up from the south, northwesterly components, there's not an awful lot of rain that makes it towards the north line. Places like the Coromandel, Bay of Plenty, staying pretty much dry right the way through the week. On the eastern coast, might find some showers running up through here, particularly for Thursday, but not particularly high values through there. What we will find though is places on the uh, western coast, places like Taranaki Mountain, uh, uh, crossing towards the central plateau, the Tauros, your classic spots in those northwesties will catch some rainfall. There might just be a few more showers through parts of Waikato, Waitomo, been down places like Wanganui. I think there's still plenty of dry weather for you. The south side, it's the western coast that bears the brunt of that rainfall. Again, you can see those blues on that side, some more showers across parts of Southland and Otago. Some Showers make their way again on Thursday up through parts of Canterbury and Marlborough, but again, most of the activity on the south side on that western coast, particularly down towards Stuart Island. You can see that east west split quite nicely through there, not much in towards Oban, but wetter weather down towards southwest Cape. We'll find a slither of warmer air comes back towards us with that front as it runs up from the uh, west, but generally our temperatures this week around what you'd expect for this time of year. Nothing too hot, nothing particularly cold, but I think as we head in towards Thursday, Friday, a couple of colder nights still with us, that cooler air coming up from the south, but generally, temperature's not far off what we'd expect to see for this time of year. So for the North Island, really until about Wednesday, things stay dry. We'll start to find some showers moving up in towards places like New Plymouth on Wednesday, on that western coast particularly. A bit of a squeeze through Palmerston North could give us a bit of a, a windy story through there. And we'll find those showers moving northwards as we head through the daytime, but more likely on the western side of the hill. So perhaps not an awful lot across towards that Napier, uh, Gisborne Way. We might find a bit of higher cloud through there later on. On Thursday, we could find a few, shows, a few of those showers, sorry. Uh, making it on towards the eastern side. But again, I think most of the activity on the western side, but even here, things will start to dry up as the next area of high pressure comes back towards us, more sunshine through there. By the time we head into Friday and I think in towards the weekend, temperature-wise back to around about 18, 19 degrees Celsius. Not nearly as warm once we lose that northwester for that eastern coast. So 25s on Wednesday for Napier compared to about 19. 19 is not too bad. You know, here in Wellington, I'd, I'd take 19 any day. And out towards the south end, we are looking at still, I think, a bit more in the way of active weather, but I think generally it's just those cooler temperatures coming through and just some showers later on. High pressure sticks with us through the weekend. And I think for many of us, we'll find that stays in place 
uh, across the uh, north land at least through and towards Monday and Tuesday. Keeping a lot of that activity across the south. Now, that's not to say there won't be the odd area of lower pressure just running across those southern areas. The high pressure perhaps relaxing a bit more allowing those sort of features to move a little bit further north was one to watch out for but i think generally particularly for places like northland auckland the coromandel waikato next week things are looking pretty dry with that high pressure being a very much the driving force of the weather not an awful lot of rainfall across towards the eastern side this week perhaps thursday your best chance of seeing a few spots through there but generally i think things are looking relatively settled with high pressure rebuilding by the end of the week and that's it from me as always you can find the latest forecast and updates at netservice.com.